guys leave your channel welcome back to my channel if today is your first time here welcome i'm glad you're here i would love for you to join the family so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos so spring is just around the corner we are one to max two months away from spring so i need to get this kitchen clean the process of cleaning the kitchen for me is i will start with the dishes for sure i always start with the dishes then i will get into my appliances today i'm not going to be doing inside of my fridge the fridge is fine because i i clean my fridge monthly every time i buy grocery i will just like literally clean my fridge before i put new groceries so i will clean the outside of my fridge and then i will do my stove the stove is what is probably going to take me longer today so i start with the dishes then i do appliances then i will do cupboards countertops and then the floor that's usually what i do i want to jam to some african music because you know i can't do anything with that african music cleaning with music mm, it's life let's get started well i had to hold my hair back as i am about to get serious and i don't want my hair to be on my face as i clean the music was giving what it was supposed to be giving i was jamming to it and yes it takes forever <laughs> when you're cleaning and listening to music at the same time but i love it it's all worth it for me so turn on some music and let's jam together as we tackle one room at a time first i have to put away the clean dishes so i can use the dishwasher to store the new ones i used to have a dish rack but i recently threw it away and i wanted to buy a new one but i haven't found one that i really liked so i try to run my dishwasher every two months or so to maintain it as we don't really use it only when we have to clean it that's when we turn it on Yeah, me like it. Every time you wake up, stunning with no makeup, me like it. How you call my name up? Got me so before I start up. with the dishes, I'm going to first get my stove wet. And then I'm also gonna put some of this powder to get it soaked. In here I have dish soap and cleaning vinegar of course you have seen me use this product before I actually have a video on how I clean my stove using this product so check that out right here you want to make sure you spray a lot of your mixed cleaning product and add the powder and let it sit a little bit before you start cleaning she moving real slow when she pulling me close me like it when we kiss and make up she be getting paper me like it girl that body so tight gonna be a long night me like it baby me no chaser nothing can replace us okay yeah up up and away we go i can never find nobody like you my baby oh hit him one time one time yeah she no play me sitting down yes i like to sit when i'm cleaning my oven because i don't want to like hurt my back that also prevent me from getting tired faster you know your back can start hurting when doing this type of thing so yeah i also try to clean my oven as much as i can to prevent build ups and make the process of my seasonal cleaning easier for me won't you be my number one
So here I'm just using a knife to clean this part of the oven because it's kind of hard to get into these little tiny parts of the oven so I like to use my knife. Okay, so I'm done with the dishes, the oven, the stove. Haven't cleaned the fridge yet, but I will do it while I'm doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the cabinets. It's just a wipe down. The cabinets are not even dirty, but um, I can see a little bit of like oil here and there, and I wanna like make sure I clean all of it. So I'm gonna spray and clean it. I'm gonna clean the top and the bottom. Then I'm going to clean the trash. Then move on to the countertops, and then from there it will be the floor, and we'll be done. So after I use the cleaning product on my fridge, I usually proceed with this appliance cleaner. This product works very well. It gives you appliances that shine with no stripes and I love it. So I use this product mixture on my cabinets as well and it has not been an issue for me so make sure that if you're going to be using this on your cabinets make sure you can like test it first because you don't want to damage like your paint or your cabinets with this product I'm not really sure so make sure you do like a test before you use it on your cabinets So growing up in Africa, Cameroon, uh, my grandma used to do this seasonal cleaning with us. She used to do one right before the length, so around this time. Uh, that was our spring cleaning and then another one before school started in September. And the last one about like right before Christmas, so like for the holidays. So for me, this has become a tradition. I have adopted it. I still enjoy doing it. And I really like to do like seasonal cleaning type of thing for me. Comment below what cleaning tradition your family did growing up or what cleaning tradition you have developed as an adult. I would love to hear from you and maybe I can adopt some of your cleaning tradition that you do as well. So when we moved in, the first thing I did was to put cabinet liners in every cabinet in the kitchen and in all our bathrooms cabinets. This helps in keeping your cabinets looking close to new, if not new when you move out. Another trick is to clean the trash. You want to make sure you clean your trash. Cleaning the trash also helps keep your living space smelling good as the trash bin can keep a lot of order. Let's fly, let's fly, let's fly. You and I, yeah. I 
be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side. You know this. And no matter the ups and downs, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever. Yeah. Baby, don't you ever be afraid of falling. Don't forget to also clean your backsplash and your cabinet's baseboard because yeah sometimes you can forget those you gotta clean it you gotta clean it make sure you clean that one time out of ten six past seven eight nine we fly till the end my hands on your waistline sky high feel the wind i had ordered some tea and vitamins from a company called iherb this video is non-sponsored, but I wanted to mention it because that is where I get my spearmint and roasted dandelion roots teas and other vitamins that I take. So I really like this company for vitamins. So I spray this on everything and just I'm just gonna let it sink. Let that sit. This makes things shiny, like so bright. You don't let them. Okay. So for the sink, I'm just gonna use my regular dish washing thing and for both sides. So I'm going to use this to wash, to scrub the sink without having to scratch it. I also use it on this as well. You're going to see, it makes it so shiny. Okay. So I'm just going to use this to scrub. I get this from the dollar store. A pack of like... A big pack. Now that the dollar store is dollar and twenty-five, a dollar and a quarter. It's a different story. But the pack that I have, I've had this for almost two years. I'm still going. I still have enough. So I'm just gonna scrub my sink like that. Do that on both sides. You're gonna see how shiny it gets with this. This is my little sink secret. Making the sink shiny without scratching. I'm not going to show you the deeper cleaning process of the sink as there are many videos on YouTube on how to do this. So you can just search that or Google it and you'll find how to um, 
how to deep clean your sink but here i'm just showing you what i use to deep clean my sink So I got this floor mopping system on Amazon and the link would be in the description below. Click the link to take you straight there to purchase if you're interested. I really like this um, mopping system because it's small, it's compact and it's really easy to store and it does such a great job. I love how easy it is to use. I use my Swiffer on a daily basis for quick floor cleaning but I prefer this when I want to do like a deep cleaning. I like to turn on my essential oil diffuser and close the windows or doors depending on how cold it is if I had any open so for today I had my deck door open and I also have my kitchen window open so I did close those two and I just enjoy the scent that I put into this I think today I used um, eucalyptus and spearmint I'm not really sure I don't remember but something good for sure <laughs> please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button for more content like this and i hope you really enjoyed this video with me because i really enjoy cleaning my kitchen don't you love the feeling and the look of a freshly cleaned kitchen or even any space in your house me i personally i know i do so this was nice so after this i just went and sat and put a movie and i just relaxed because my feet were kidding me i was tired I was exhausted this is the final look of my kitchen and i'm so glad and thankful that you stayed to the end and until then i will see you in the next video bye bye